Hello, welcome back to Rick's Kits. I've been through my stash and I found a few unfinished aircraft I need to build. Uh, it's not just aircraft, I've got tanks and other bits and pieces, so... Um, I'm going to readdress this one. Let me get that into folk view. So this one I started, oh God, possibly about two years ago. Maybe actually a little bit longer than that. It's the Hobby Boss 148 scale, as you can see. Mesh Smith ME262A1A broke U2. Uh, I'm not sure what VO56, I think VO56 is just the number. Uh, the As far as I got with it, um, it's a nice kit, by the way. Uh, I got to this stage building is mostly primed engines on etc one of the front wheels on um an open panel here on this side um so this was my first foray into let's see if i can get it focused in without you know what I'm fed up with this camera this setup Everything is just focus. So this is my first foray into uh, wiring. So I started wiring up all the gun systems on both sides. And also get you in there. All the wire, the, dealing with the wiring that runs through the wheel wells. I was using quite a few reference photos for it, so um, I need to get this finished really. So that's what I aim to do. Uh, so we can refocus it again. We've got brake lines that I was doing on the uh, front wheel. So, yeah. Hopefully when you see this again, I'll have it uh, reasonably finished. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. Hello, welcome back. Okay, so this is this was a stalled build that I started two years ago. Uh, ME262. Uh, 1A um, U2 with bug antenna. Um, reading the info on the side of the box, this is prototype V50056. Um, so I've got it completed um, as far as I can go with it, to be honest with you. Um, it's not shabby. Quite a nice kit to build. Uh, the only thing that I haven't got at the moment on it is the two panels that sit here. Uh, because in, in my haste to do this delightful camo scheme, I put the panels the wrong side when I was painting the scheme. So they're supposed to be in the open position, uh, showing the gun bay. And uh, when I went to come and Glue the bits and into place it I had the light colour of the uh, side um, up here on the top and clearly that's not correct so I've got to go back and correct that mistake and then uh, it should be fully finished um, but yeah it's a, it's a very nice kit actually it goes together quite well I'm quite impressed with this Hobby Boss kit um, I may have to uh, go and get, a, get another one at some point. Uh, so let me bring you in a little bit closer with this. Let's see if we can get uh, the, the one disappointment in all of this. It was the decals. Um, they were so thin. They just kept disintegrating. And that was quite disappointing because there's, but there's a 
a lot of decals that are supposed to go on the side of this machine including the uh, swastika on the back there but I found some tech mod replacements around the same sort of size so that's currently what they're sitting in until I can uh, get some more done so we've got the rockets on it's uh, light blue or licht blau on the uh, bottom you got the rocket um, propellant there to help it on takeoff. Uh, I'm not sure whether in the later versions of these uh, that changed at all. Um, from a little bit early, earlier in that you can see that like the yellow wires and bits and pieces. Um, a couple of years back, I started to wire it up I thought it was such a good project to do and then uh, so I've got the wiring done and that on there um, we've got the big antenna here or the night the night fighter antenna and like I said showed just a few moments back we got all the wiring for the gun mechanisms and everything on both sides in there uh, you're probably not going to see the cockpit, the cockpit's quite dark to look at but that's just as uh, just as detailed in the cockpit canopies are nice and clear which is always a good sign and um, there is the option in the kit I believe or there's an option that you can do where you can strip Strip out these panels and and uh, put a Jumo engine in there. Uh, but that's like a resin aftermarket part. Uh, it's not a towel sitter because the piece that comes in the kit there's two. There's one plastic which the machine guns sit on. It's made of metal, so there's enough weight in the front. I'll just put it back down to allow it to sit comfortably. It can else it if you uh, yeah. A very like I said, it's a very nice build. It was a stalled project, now completed. I'm happy with the way things have turned out. And uh very very pleased. You're gonna do a 262 in, in 48 scale and it's not something um, that's got thousands of parts on it I do recommend getting a Hobby Boss 262 so we got the paint scheme is um, violet brown and or violet green and uh, black green with the light blue on the side so yeah all in all very very pleased this is another one that's going to be going up on the wall so thank you very much for watching uh sorry this is a short and quick video but like i said it was a stall project and now it's completed we'll be once to get those two bits done and i've got another couple of stall projects that i want to do some work on and uh, time to move on to the next build really so thank you for watching i do appreciate all you uh, guys and gals My subscribers are um, quite important to me on this channel and i appreciate you all i'll catch you in the next build bye for now